Mulla Nasruddin and the trial. Mulla Nasruddin's wife was worried that her husband didn't earn a living. This caused her a lot of stress. She thought her husband like other husbands should work and earn a living for the family. As she usually did, she started questioning the husband again, which soon became an argument. Wife angrily said, "Why can't you be like normal husbands and do some work and earn a living?" Dear wife, I am a worker of the almighty God. How can I do another job? Dearest husband, maybe you can then ask your God to give you something in return for your service. Retorted his wife. Answered Mulla calmly. Dearest wife, you are right. I hadn't thought of asking God for any returns for my service. Maybe that's why he doesn't give me anything. Oh, then please go and ask your almighty God for some return for your service. The wife grumbled. Mulla Nasruddin went to the garden near his house. He sat down on the ground and opened his arms looking towards the sky. He said loudly, "Oh God, Since I am your humble and devoted servant, will you give me a hundred gold coins for my devotion towards you? Mulla's neighbor Ahmed was in the balcony, and he heard this. He decided to play a prank on Mulla. He threw a bag full of hundred gold coins towards Mulla. A shocked and surprised Mulla opened the bag to find a hundred gold coins in the bag. He got up and went home with the bag. He called his wife and showed her the bag and said, "See, I am such a good devotee of the Almighty that He gave me hundred gold coins." His wife happily took out a coin from the bag. and went to the market seeing mulla's wife shopping their neighbor ahmed's wife grew suspicious she had a word with ahmed about this ahmed stormed into mulla nasruddin's house and angrily demanded his 100 gold coins back mulla remarked back how dare you ask for my gold coins I know you overheard me when I asked the almighty god for the gold coins. I should sue you in court for justice. An angry Ahmed replied. Mulla pleadingly, "My friend Ahmed, I am a poor man. I don't have any good clothes or even means to travel. The judge will surely trust you more." A resigned Ahmed gave mulla nasruddin his jacket and horse too they went to the court at the court the judge listened to ahmed's complaint he turned to mulla and asked him do you want to say anything my neighbor ahmed is completely mad replied mulla the judge asked mulla if he had any proof Yes, replied Mulla. Well, he assumes everything I own is his. First it's the gold coins, then it's the jacket, then it's the horse, replied Mulla. The judge asked, "Is this true, Ahmed?" Ahmed was very upset and angry on hearing this. He replied angrily to the judge, "Yes." The judge looks at both of them and said, "There is no point to Ahmed's complaint. You can both leave." Well now, do you think Ahmed's prank on Mulla was worth it?